The thing that's been amazing to me about the five rhythms, uh, particularly in relationship to psychotherapy, is when we practice dancing each of these five movement qualities, we are accessing such amazing um, resources, physical resources, emotional resources, mental resources, and in a way, spiritual resources, ways of being. And I couldn't find a way quite as effective as actually moving and dancing and working with music and working with the reflection and the interaction of other people. I couldn't find a way to access those resources as fully as we do in the five rhythms. My intention has always been to drop people the root down to the feet. So it's really simple for me. Wherever I go, whatever I'm teaching, I am trying to call the spirit back into the body or trying to call the breath all the way through the body and trying to get people more rooted in their feet. The reason that we're up here is because we've been trained that everything below the neck is dangerous. You know, any kind of emotion is dangerous. Any kind of sensuality, any kind of sexuality is dangerous. So there's been this deep ingrained consciousness in Western people to be in control, to keep everything secure, to be predictable. And of course the problem is that life is uncontrollable, obviously, unpredictable and insecure. So it's like we've been trained to go against the grain of, of how everything is naturally organically moving. So we need a perspective that allows us to see that everything is in movement, everything is changing, and we need to have a language that embodies that point of view. Each rhythm represents a quality of movement or a vibration of movement, but it also represents a certain quality of being, a certain mind state or quality of emotions. And when we put our body in a certain rhythm, our feeling about ourselves and about each other kind of goes along with that rhythm. And then as each rhythm changes, uh, our mind and our, our, our sense of ourselves and our sense of others and how we interact with each other change. So it's not just a physical vocabulary. It, it really is a, an emotional vocabulary and a, and, a, and a particular mind state and really at its, its you know, underneath it all is it, there's states of being. There are five states of being that are represented uh, in movement. There's five rhythms and there are five points of movement on a vast continuum of movement. I mean obviously there's more than five rhythms in the universe. Sure. But we got five very clear and crystallate, crystallized points of energy on a wave of movement. It's, think of it like a doorway, five doorways. Once you go in the doorway, there's many, many possibilities. You spread out and you can deepen, you may travel to the, another rhythm in a different way. But I'm going to show you these five doorways as we teach them and as, as we know them and call them. Okay. All right? There's flowing, staccato, chaos, lyrical, and still. We, we see it as a wave of energy, we feel it as a wave of energy that begins in flowing in the way that any day starts, hopefully, okay. in a nice, slow, you know, rolling out of bed kind of way, easy, the way maybe a project starts slow. It has this quality of kind of going with the flow, feeling your way, finding your way, finding your body, finding your breath. You're just kind of moving in there, you're just, and, but you're continuing, you're, you're finding that receptivity. And the queen of flow. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like breathing to me. I don't have any like, why is it, or it just, it's just I, that continuous, big, fat circle of moves is just me. It's just, it's just what I embody, and I love it. And I can sink so nice and deep into this center of my being, into these hips, and, and work them, and, and feel my feet, and, and I, I don't know, it's just luxurious. It's just a luxurious, gorgeous feeling. We start in the gathering of energy, receptivity, into a more uh, organized, beat-oriented, driven mm -hmm. sense of, you know, 
It's my favorite rhythm. Mm. It's actually my favorite rhythm. I live here a lot. I think a lot of our culture does. But we, you know, instead of the culture that we know, the staccato, tough, rhythm, staccato, we yeah. work with the, the healthy balance of beat, pacing, seeing yourself, you're just getting things together. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and this, and that. I'm gonna move this part, I'm gonna move that part. And then you're building your potency, you're breathing, you're finding your pace, your day, you know? You can be working until six o'clock, so. You know, in the dance, we just practice on how do we breathe and how do we pace ourselves when you got stuff to do. You gotta think, you have to set boundaries, you have to say yes, you have to say no, you have to pick up the kids, you have to, you know, there's things that we right. do in this world. And so how can we do them in a relaxed way, organized way, clear way, breath, and have some, you know, that's what we're teaching, that's what staccato teaches us. So, you know, after a while of doing that, just again, like in, in, in the process of energy, when energy builds and you, you're, you're uh, point by point by point by point, most often it builds and it builds and it builds and it does get a little faster and at any point it, it, it gets bigger than the container and your day gets pretty full and, and quite often if I think for moms, because I'm a mom and I know how that is, is you, you get to dinner time. You know, you got the kids and you get all the, you get to dinner time and you think, okay, it's dinner time and the kids are there and, you know, maybe the, my husband's coming home and I have stuff to do and, and things start to move into chaos and, you know, have I done everything, have I thought for tomorrow and that organized pace just kind of falls apart into chaos. And now mostly we resist mm -hmm. chaos in our world because it's stressful, it's, it's painful, it's, it's out of control, you know, we try to <clears throat> get back down to that staccato. Mm -hmm. But in this practice we teach, of, you know, as a wave comes, as a wave of energy is coming through your life, through your body, through your day, when it gets to that chaotic point where things are falling apart, and it just has a life of its own, you can't control it. I and mean, that's what we're practicing on the dance floor. Sure. You know, it would be <laughs> something about how I can let my body just relax. It just how can I relax that way and enjoy it? Yeah. Instead of fight it. Be safe, eyes open, and you know, not tweak my neck or hurt my back. You know, how can I kind of go with the chaos so that I learn to make friends with that mm -hmm. basic energy in our world? Mm -hmm. Well, I love chaos. It's, it was my, my hardest rhythm at first, and it was it's also the, been my biggest teacher, and it's where I really feel like I can um, let go. You know, I, I take in, and I take in, and I take in, and then I put out, and, and then, so it's a part, it's that releasing part of it just feels good to me. Yes, naturally moves into lyrical. If we ride it with any sense of grace at all, and we're not finding it, uh, chaos from that, that kind of crazy place, well, well, you know, dinner ends, you got the dinner on the table, you know, you answer the phones, and there's a point, like, like at the end of the day where you just say, you sit on the couch or something, that's how it is for me, and I sit, I sit on the couch and I'm like, whew, there's just a sense of light, there's a sense of, ah, oh, I've moved through something. I've moved through something. And in the dance, when we work with it, we call this rhythm lyrical. After chaos, when energy builds and builds and it releases itself, we just kind of move into that sense of expanding beyond our boundaries. Effortless, just easy and light. And sometimes it's very repetitive. You know, you might just fall into an easy, gentle rhythm. Sometimes it's maybe just, just feeling some effortless way of moving as the wave of energy, which is just built and released, and now it's coming down the other side. You know, there's a tenderness when things are done, or when the energy is released. There's a tenderness, there's a sweetness that, that is natural, and, and then it's coming, coming down to a still point. Where energy gets to rest and pool within our body. Again, it's organic to us and we don't have to make stillness happen. We don't have to make it stop, but there is going to be a point where we run out of energy and there's a, a, a still point of just a resting, a sense of internal integration. And in the dance, we, we focus sometimes with stillness moving very slow, you know, in slow motion. Other times just maybe moving and feeling a shape and just so that our bodies get used to and psychologically and mentally and every other way, we get used to allowing, you know, the period at the end of the sentence.
it's taken me years, you know, my entire lifetime to, to uh, find ways to seduce people back into themselves, to find ways to seduce people back into their feet, to make it a safe journey, even though it's very dangerous. And to get there, to get to your own two feet, you have to go through a lot of wilderness.